today we have the very first vlog and we have Lindsay from Lindsay Mays Cakes um, with us to, sp to speak all things sweet and delicious. So all the chocolate, all the icing, all the gooey cake, everything you can think of we're going to talk about because who doesn't love a sweet treat? And come on, a wedding cake is really important on a big day, isn't it's, that right Lindsay? Oh absolutely, yeah. Super important. So Lindsay, how, how long in advance do you have to start looking um, around for sort of cake makers and kind of start looking for ideas for the wedding? So at the moment I'm taking bookings for 2021. So I would say at least two years before, if you've booked that far in advance, mm -hmm. um, to sort of start looking really. Nice. Is a year in advance enough time? Like are they just on the edge of Yeah, someone's... you can do it a year in advance. I mean, I've done a, a consultation yesterday for someone who's getting married in July because I've just got enough room. Oh, that's so amazing. there is ways of fitting it around, but to first inquire, you should do it as soon as you possibly can. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. How long does it generally just take to make the cake? Um, I mean, it completely depends. Yeah. I mean, a naked cake could be anything from sort of four to six hours, oh, wow. or a fully extravagant icing designed bespoke cake could take three days. Wow! Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a lot of man hours. Yeah, a lot of man hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's gonna be just scoffed on down. Yeah. <laughs> but it's meant to be looked at, sort of thing. Yeah. It's it's a centerpiece. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To you know the dining room. The a centerpiece. That's room. a perfect yeah. way to put it. It, it is. It is a centerpiece yeah. decoration, really. So yeah. Nice. Amazing. Um, so when it comes to pricing, I suppose it differs on different cakes, different sizes. Yeah, absolutely. So I have a rough price guideline okay. that I do send out to couples for them to have a look at, but everything is approximate. All of the prices that are final are done after consultation and after designing the cake so that I can see sort of exactly what I'm going to be doing. Of course. I've got to work out how long it's going to take, yeah. how much everything's going to cost. Yeah. So yeah, everything is an approximate when you first inquire, yeah. and then you get a nice. straight price. The, nice. the kind of price range to work from in the first place, so that's really quite handy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's exactly. Definitely going in blind, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. No, that's really good. And we were talking, weren't we, to a couple of brides? Do you do like a little taster set like session mm. so they can come in and taste your amazing cakes before they put the order in? Yeah, absolutely. A lot, loads of people love this. That is what it's the all best about. Part. It is, yeah. I mean, <laughs> the, the food taste. tasting and the cake tasting oh, is yes. the best part of it, really, isn't it? Um, yeah. So what I do is, if you haven't decided exactly what you want, or if you do want to go with me, I charge fifteen pound for a cake tasting. I send you a list of flavours. You choose six of them, oh. and we sit down, we have a chat, you eat cake. Can we do that? Amazing. I mean, we're married. We <laughs> yeah. Can, can we do that? Yeah. yeah. A lot of people say that, yeah. Um, but if you've decided that I'm going to go with you, um, I just want to, you know, taste your cakes. Some people pay their deposits before yeah. they've even seen me, mm -hmm. and then they come for a cake mm -hmm. consultation, and... It's just part of the price, really. It's yeah. Really so what if the girls really want something special um, for their day? They want something really exotic or different, a completely different Unique. flavor. Yeah. What? So what I do is I offer ten flavors as you know standard. standard. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So standard flavor list. But I do say to brides that if they have a flavor that they do want to sort of incorporate that's special to them because you know there's some that bring back memories and things like yeah. that for the cherry bake them yeah <laughs> cherry bake <laughs> one for you is it no. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah so there's, <laughs> there's flavors like that that are really different as you said um that brides will want to incorporate so i try to you know make up a recipe myself and then I'll do it in the Amazing. tasting So session. you're willing to experiment with different flavours that aren't on your list? Yeah, absolutely. Incredible. Yeah, definitely. I think a nice. lot of girls, Amazing. a lot of couples would be really happy to oh, hear that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Amazing. definitely. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned a deposit. So how do you work? Is it um, they decide to book with you and they pay, what, 50% and then pay the remainder when the cake's ready? So what I actually do, I'm quite different to a lot of other uh, cake suppliers. Um, 
what I do is I take a 10% deposit when they book, yeah. then I do a payment six months after that, and then I do the final payment three weeks before the wedding. Oh, that's because it breaks it up for Yeah, you. it spaces it out so that you're not necessarily putting a lump sum down, because I know from experience that it can be a lot of money all coming out at the yeah. same time, and it's very stressful. So it's nice just to secure it with a deposit, and then you've got six months for the next bit, yeah, and then just before. For and that's the next why bit. you kind of allow year. So eight yeah, months exactly. To... I mean, if you book it closer to the time, I still do three payments. I still do the deposit, the next payment, next payment. But it's just a bit closer. Obviously, it feels closer. Yeah, together. exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's really helpful, isn't it? But that's that's so right. when you're a bride, it's, it's all goes quiet. I mean, you like pay the, the initial payments to a secure place, and yeah. it goes quiet, and you're like, oh, this is easy. Yeah. And it gets to like the eight, yeah. six months leading up to it, and you're like, right, this payment due, this payment yeah. due, this payment yeah. due. And then three weeks before, you're like, oh no! <laughs> yeah. Have I yeah. still got a bank account? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that's perfect. That's a really good way that's of doing really it. Good. That's really good. Um, so I've got a really important one here that's been asked: dietary requirements. Mm -hmm. So, do you do gluten free baking? And yeah, so the first wedding cake I actually done was fully gluten free, oh, um, wow. which it's is so good. difficult yeah. to find gluten free bakers. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean. A lot of people do do it, but like myself, I do gluten-free baking, but I do disclose that my kitchen isn't fully gluten-free. There are yeah. ingredients that do contain gluten in the kitchen. But you just don't use them, obviously, when you're baking. Exactly. So the kitchen is done a full cleanse before a gluten-free cake is oh, made. Wow. The gluten-free ingredients and tools are kept separately in a separate area so that it is as gluten-free gluten as, yeah. as possible as safe as possible yeah yeah that's perfect really i think that'll put a lot of people's at ease. minds at ease yeah, yeah. yeah. really yeah. well because sure. like i said it's not easy to find someone to bake gluten-free and if they do like you said um it's good that you state you know i have gluten ingredients yeah. in my kitchen yeah it's good that you state all that mm -hmm. so right. then the couples can figure it out for themselves yeah because if you know if they don't feel comfortable that's absolutely fine yeah. like mm. some people don't but if it is just a sort of lifestyle choice then mm. it, it doesn't sort of matter really yeah, yeah. it's um yeah so it is preference really whether yeah. people prefer someone that's completely gluten-free or not perfect Amazing. I've got a question. It's oh. not from a bride, but it's from me. Um, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Brace yourself, everyone. Brace yourself. <laughs> so I want to know, have there been any sort of weird requests or what's the most yeah. kind of um, mm. extravagant. extravagant request that you've had from a bride or groom? Or oh, I love this anyone. question. Yeah, <laughs> so um, I have had, not from bride or groom yet, but um, normal cakes that I've made, I've had chocolate and lime, which I've never heard of before. That's a different However, kind of it's very nice, yeah, ah. very nice. Um, but yeah, not a flavour that I would have thought of pairing no, myself. that's not something that would come to my mind. No, but like you said before, it was something, it was like a memory for the customer. Aww. So it, it was like, it was a present as well. Aww. So it's like, Aww. A memory and a present at the same time. It's very thoughtful. Yeah. Yes. But I've also had for a birthday someone's favourite cake was Dorset apple cake. Yum. But they wanted like one of my drip cakes. And oh, we love Dorset drip apple cake. cake wouldn't work necessarily as like a stacked cake because of it would just collapse it's too heavy. So I thought, right, I'm gonna have to find a way to do it without how on earth did you do this? If, yeah. <laughs> so what I done was a spiced vanilla sponge. <sighs> so cinnamon, <laughs> bit of clove in there. Yeah, so it tastes like Christmas, so I love it. Um, it and then, <laughs> yeah, instead of jam, I done like a stewed apple compote in the middle. And it had, yeah, um, apples, brown sugar, cinnamon, a bit of um, mixed Aww. spice, and the smell in the kitchen. I can, I can imagine. imagine. Oh, it was so hard not just to sit with a spoon, <laughs> yeah. with the pan, and just sort of, <laughs> sorry, you can't have your cake on time. I've eaten it all. That's why so I cannot good. make cakes, no, because yeah, they yeah. would just all be in here. I mean, regularly, I don't really eat cakes. I'm more of a savoury person. Person, yeah. but I love things with like spices. Yeah. So when someone asks for something like that, I'm like, oh, oh, all no. over it. Definitely. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm your girl. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Amazing. That's amazing. I love mm. Dorset apple cake. 
cake. Mm. Yeah, Just, I do. Oh, yeah. And the, like you said, the spices. Mm. It's like a carrot cake. I love a carrot yeah. cake. Yeah. I love a carrot cake. Yeah, yeah. you can't go wrong with a carrot cake, can you? No, not that at all. ice. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to cake. Yeah. I, need to <laughs> I should have bought some. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh. So, another question I have here is. Favours. Yes. Do you do um, like biscuits? Have you done favours for weddings in the past? Yeah, so I do do um, biscuits that are personalised. I either do round, heart, in a, whatever shape you want, basically. Mm -hmm. um, and you can have it personalised to the colour scheme of your wedding. Amazing. Um, with the icing. And then you can have imprinted in there, say for example, I'm doing one that says Mr. and Mrs. Black, so that... That's mine. <laughs> it's for me. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so that will be like personal to everyone. Yeah. Yeah. So it's nice. really nice. And that you can biscuits. imprint on. That. Yeah. Yeah. So they're actually personalised oh, wow. with your married name on, or I've done engagement ones that say congratulations with the names on. Oh. It's just really nice and personal, yeah. but it's something that you know is going to be used rather yes. than. Yeah, because yeah. you can people you can will enjoy. It. Yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah, because the amount of times you go to weddings, right, and you get to the end of the night and people have just left their favours there. Yeah. And like, people have spent Such money on that. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So it's nice to have something to even nibble on while people are doing the speeches and stuff. Yeah. It's just, and it was a sweet treat after the big free course meal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So so biscuits can be done as favours. Um, which I'm actually going to be selling on Etsy soon as well. Oh, we love Etsy. Yeah, so it's not going to be just people around the area. People from all over the country can have them, oh, which is good. Yeah. You. Um, and also mini brownies. They oh. they can be quite popular. Yeah. Who doesn't love a brownie? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Who doesn't love a brownie? I tell you something we love here. And if you do these, my goodness, we might place an order of your time. We love <laughs> macaroons. Macaroon. Yes. Mm. Don't tell me you make these. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can. I can do macarons. We go through so many, don't we? We do. Really? We do. Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah, they can be done in a little box with a ribbon that's the colour of the wedding. Yeah. Nice and personal. Yeah, exactly. And the macarons can be the same colour as the colour oh, scheme wow. as well. And they, they can be flavoured. They can be flavoured, yeah. Oh. So... Say, for example, your wedding cake is salted caramel, cherry bakewell, <laughs> flavour, um, <laughs> and Victoria sponge. You could have some vanilla. You could have um, vanilla with a salted caramel filling in the middle oh, of them. Wow. And the same with the cherry bakewell. You could have, obviously, they've already got almonds in them, mm -hmm. but you can make them a bit more almondy and then have like a raspberry jam in the middle as well. Oh, amazing. So, in our language. Yeah, so language. you can you can sort of attach them to the flavours of the wedding cake. Yeah. It just sort of marries everything together. Yeah. yeah. Oh, amazing. Oh my gosh, we have just <laughs> loved speaking to you today. You it's just honestly, amazing. it's made me so hungry. <laughs> I need, yeah, I need, come and take it, I need a big, big cake. Seriously. <laughs> um, just quickly before we wrap it up, yeah. how can our couples get in contact with you? Do you have a website? Are you Instagram, Facebook? So my main channels are Instagram and Facebook, where I am just Lindsay Mays Cakes, really easy to find. Mm -hmm. And my email is on there as well. So if you did want to email me, you can do that too. Perfect. Yeah. We're also tag Lindsay in all of this. Everything. So it would direct you straight to her pages. So don't worry, you won't yeah. lose her. You'll be able Not to find her. We can't thank you enough for this. No, That's okay, okay. don't no so worry. Nice. Yeah. That yes. I wouldn't normally think about girls. These questions have been incredible. Well thank you. done. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, yeah, thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure oh. having you. Please come back. Yeah, absolutely. I've come back to try my own wedding dress on my <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Bring some cake. Oh, yeah. Oh, and cake. cake. <laughs> yeah, macarons. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Give me the best dress fit. Do <laughs> Girls, I bet you're just as hungry as we are right now after talking about all these delicious flavours and cake. Um, if you love what you've seen, let us know and give be us a sure like. to give Lindsay a follow. Yes, yeah, please definitely. do. Yeah. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye.